What's up guys, Dr. Travis Owens, the Cheer Doc here, and for your Technique Tuesday today, I wanted to talk to you guys about a really basic concept when it comes to mastering your first back handspring. Now, a lot of times when we are starting our, our tumbling journey, uh, we're learning how to do our entry level tumbling. One big concept that's taught with things like our round offs and things of that nature are the rebound that comes after that, uh, that piece of the tumbling. Now, we, we, we pound that into our athlete's head that when doing things like round offs, we have to generate enough power to be able to rebound out of that skill so that they can transition into their handspring. Now, when we're teaching our basic standing back handspring, that concept needs to be taught as well. Uh, what we see a lot of times is that athletes get so stuck on just landing their first handspring. I just gotta get over and I gotta get my feet down to the ground so that I can stand up, right? And what'll happen is they will only generate enough power to get their feet over and land on the ground. Now, the easy way to push them forward as, as far as getting their handspring faster is to, is to drill into their mind that even for just that one standing back handspring, especially when they're first learning, we need to generate enough power that we will get a big rebound after the standing handspring. So instead of thinking, I just need to get over, their thought process needs to be, I need to generate enough power that not only do I get over, but I can also jump once my feet hit the ground. If we can introduce that idea to them early, instead of hoping that once they land, we can then teach them that they need to rebound, it will exponentially speed up how fast they will get that first standing back handspring.